What's up guys, Crypto Noah back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you my step-by-step -step take profit and yield farming strategy on how I plan on turning $10,000 into $520,000 by investing into Boston Protocol. So in this video, we're gonna briefly cover what Boston Protocol is, and I say briefly because on the Know It Owls channel, we made an in-depth fundamental analysis video going through all things Boston Protocol, the tokenomics, the white paper, the partnerships, social medias, literally everything you need to know. So this one, so in this video, I'm just gonna give you the high level. I'm gonna show you my take profit strategy on how I plan on turning 10K into 520K, and if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you my yield farming strategy on how I plan on accumulating Boston Protocol passively so that I'll have more to sell once we get deeper into the bull market. So before we get into it, I do have to say none of this is financial advice. These are my own perspectives, my own research, and they should be treated as such. Do your own research always, but use this channel as a starting point always. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the content, starting off with what is Boston Protocol and why am I buying it now? All right, so Hooper, you are on Boston Protocol's website. They are essentially an exchange for assets to be traded on via tokenized assets. And that could be digital tokenized assets or physical tokenized assets. And they call them digital. So they allow you to tokenize a, phys a physical item and sell it on their platform. And they have a pretty novel mechanism to ensure that the buyer gets their product and the seller gets the money. And if one of those things don't happen, both parties get their money and their product back, which is pretty cool. So it says here, Boston Protocols enables the tokenization, transfer, and trade of any physical thing as a redeemable NFT. They have some pretty cool partnerships. They're working with Tommy Hilfiger. And they allow you to do this trading on a decentralized platform. So you don't have to get approval from anyone. So it says here, redeemable NFTs are, are NFTs can be thought of as forward contracts for physical things, programmed with smart contracts. Uh, our NFTs can be held, transferred, or traded like any other NFT. And they use game theory and, and independent resolvers to provide the bearer of the RNFT with a strong and credible assurance that either they will be able to redeem the token for the physical thing or receive their money back. And obviously you can do things with physical items, like I said, but you can do them with actual NFTs as well. And they allow you to add token gated aspects to it, digital twins, you know, you, you hear about Nike and Walmart filing patents for things to be built out in the metaverse. So this protocol is pretty legit. They have a lot of content on their YouTube channel, pretty big social media following. They have some pretty cool partnerships. So guys, I am just scratching the surface here and I like to, I wanna reiterate, don't buy the token just cause you watch this video and I'm showing you how much money you can potentially make watch the deep dive video and do your actual research go through their white paper read their documentation that they put out they have plenty of it they have plenty of videos on their youtube with the ceo and just other people on the team amas do your research so now let's get to why am i buying right now well you guys know the narrative slash sector that we're most bullish on and that is real world assets i think real world assets is going to be the biggest narrative going into this upcoming bull market it hasn't had its time in the sun yet and I like RWAs because they're really, really attractive to institutions. And institutions have most of the money. And I think it's just going to, I think RWAs is going to create a lot of millionaires. So that's where most of our focus is. Also, I think NFTs are going to have a comeback in this bull market as well. So they're within the NFT narrative and within the RWA narrative. And they've been around a long time. This won't be their first bull market. Guys, if you look at RWAs, you can see the market cap for RWAs is only 6.9 billion, while meme coin, the meme coin market cap is over 50, 60 billion last time I checked. Guys, Pendle Finance alone has four or five billion on their platform. So the RWA sector is extremely undervalued, extremely guys. These are protocols that's working, people are using. And if we scroll down, you can see that Boston Protocol is way down on the list. They're number 630. The market cap is only 53 million at the time of this video. And as you'll see from the take profit strategy, I think this thing is gonna fly and I think it's gonna do really well along with the rest of RWAs. So now that we've went over what Boston Protocol is briefly, why I'm buying it now, let me show you my take profit strategy and show you how I plan on turning 10K into 520K conservatively. All right guys, plain and simple, here is my take profit strategy. So 
when you're coming up with your take profit strategy, it's good to have a conservative estimate as to where you think price will go and an aggressive estimate and have your take profit strategy set up to where even if your conservative isn't hit or if it exceeds your aggressive estimate, you're still able to make some good money. And the goal is always, or most of the time, is to be playing with house money as fast as possible, all right? So at the time of me making this take profit plan when I first bought in, current price is 45 cents. Current market cap is 58.2 million. Conservatively speaking, I think this can reach a $2 billion market cap. On an aggressive side, I think it'll reach 7 billion. Probably be somewhere in between there, but it could exceed seven, you never know. So you start off with 10K. My first take profit level is gonna be once it does a 15X. That's gonna turn the price from 45 cents to $6.75. That's gonna bring the market cap from 58.2 million to 873,844,830. All right, my 10K is gonna be worth 150K. So now I'm taking out my principal plus a 2X. So now, I made a 300% return and I am playing with house money. So even if it goes to zero, I still profit. At that point, I have 120K left. My second take profit level is gonna be once it does a 3X. It's gonna bring the price from 675 to $20.25. And it's gonna bring the market cap from 873.8 million to 2 billion, 621 million, 534,490 dollars. 120K is gonna be worth 360K. And guys, as you can see here, I'm right above my conservative estimate. So I wanna take a good amount of cream off the top here. So I'm, I'm withdrawing 230K in profits. So now I have 260K in profits total. I have 130K left in my position. Third take profit is gonna be once it does a 2X, right? It's gonna turn the price from 225 to $40.50. And it's going to bring the market cap from 2.6 billion to 5 billion 243 million 68,980 dollars. My 130k is going to be worth 260k. Now I'm taking off 220k again. I'm taking off. I'm taking profits so aggressively because I'm not going to fool myself into thinking I can time the top. So the closer we get to the top, my top, aka my aggressive estimate, the more money I'm taking off. All right. So now. You add up all your profits, 220, 230, 30K. You have 40K left in the position. You just turn 10K into 520K. Now you're probably wondering, well, what do I do with the rest of the profits, the rest of my position? At this point, I'm thinking like, all right, we're getting closer to the top. Even if it goes to a $10 billion market cap, I have other positions where I'm a little bit more allowing of things to go up. So I'm cool with not being so aggressive on this one. So I'm taking out 50% of my position every time there's a 25% increase. Dollar cost averaging on the way out. All right, now for those of you stuck around, let me show you my yield farming strategy for how I plan on accumulating Boston Protocol passively so I have more to sell in the bull market. So versus turning 10K into 520, I might be able to turn 11, 12, 13, 14, 15K if I'm able to accumulate enough before things really start getting crazy price-wise. So the first thing you wanna do is come over to CoinGecko. You wanna scroll down to see where most of the trading is happening. So you can see that it's mostly happening within the Boston wrapped ETH pool. And this is good because if you've watched any of my videos, you've heard me talk about how there's yield farming strategies for bull markets, bear markets, and sideways markets. The best strategies for bull market yield farming, and I've talked about this, is volatile, volatile pairs, meaning altcoins paired with altcoins versus an altcoin paired with a stablecoin because they will most likely both rise simultaneously and you have a higher likelihood of staying within range if you're doing concentrated liquidity, which I recommend because it allows you to be more capital efficient and make higher yields with less risk. So you can see most of it's happening with the Boston Wrapped ETH pair. I like that, 2.81%. So now I wanna go over to Uniswap and look at the volume to TVL ratio to see if it's worth it. So you can see that it's two pools. You have the 0.3% and the 1%. Now, the 1% has a TVL of 114K, but the seven-day volume is only 49K, whereas the 0.3% has 67.4K in it, but the seven-day volume is 132K. This number two one is the one I want to be in because it's going to have a better volume to TVL ratio because the volume is higher than the TVL, right? So you have less liquidity providers splitting more fees, having a bigger piece of the pie. So I'm gonna back test this 
and see how I would have done in the past 60 days had I LP'd in the range that I select. So when it comes to selecting your ranges, and I made plenty of videos on what I look at when I go to select my ranges, this is the range I'm looking at on Boston Rap ETH. So I have it down here because this was previous support and resistance, and I wanna give price a little room to drop because if it goes down, I wanna be able to accumulate some more down here. And I got it to the top of this wick because I think we're gonna be in this range for a while. If we have a break and a retest and a candle close here on the weekly, then that'll make me adjust my range to the upside a little more so I can stay in range and keep accumulating fees. If I measure this, you can see that this range is pretty wide. I'm giving price 131% to move up and down for it. So price can move up and down 131% and I'll still be in range making passive income, which is great. So now let's back test and see how it would have did the past 60 days. The reason why I did 60 days is because that's how long I would have been in range. Each of these candles are one week. You can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is 60 days. All right. So if I go over to, it was builder metrics, but now it's metrics finance. You can do your back testing. I've already put in the numbers. So you go here, you paste in your minimum and your maximum. Your minimum is going to be this green number here. The maximum is going to be this top green number here. And you can see that had I been in this pool for 60 days, I would have been getting a yearly APR of 593%. That's more than 1% per day. And remember, it's annual percentage yield. It's 365 days in a year. So anything over 365, you're making over a percent a day. And I could have made 48% per month. So that means I would have ROI'd on this pool within two months, basically. Almost two months. Probably two months and a little bit more because it's 48. If it was 50, that would have been 100% in two months. So on $1,000... I'll be making around $16 per day, which is excellent. And this gives you all of the data and I've made videos on how to go through all this. So I'll save that for another video. Going back to Uniswap, let's click on this point three pool because I want to talk about some things further. So you can see the volume. This is the one day volume. Let's look at the, the yearly volume. So you can see things started to pick up, but you're probably like, well, why are you going to LP if things are dropping back down? Guys, I made a video showing my top secret yield farming strategy and how this is compared to selling shovels during a gold rush. Back testing is great, but what happened in the past doesn't guarantee the future. And if you're expecting a bull market, you have to expect volume to increase, which means yields will increase. So this is what I mean by selling shovels during a gold rush. You get your liquidity position set because once we go into the bull market and ROAs really start blasting off, people are gonna come on Uniswap to buy this token because the exchanges are gonna go down and versus having to wait to get approved or wait to sell. It takes five minutes or less to set up a MetaMask and send some ETH there and people are gonna come here and buy Boston. So the liquidity providers who are gonna be here are gonna be able to make some great yields and I can guarantee you it happens every single time. Liquidity providers aren't gonna be able to provide liquidity as fast as people are going to be buying. You wanna have your position set before, just like you don't build a boat during a flood. You build it when everything's dry. And you don't prepare for war when your city's getting raided. You do it beforehand, well beforehand, all right? So this is a really good pool, and I'm already in this pool, and it's been paying out pretty great. So there you guys have it, my yield farm, my take profit strategy. Before we end this video, I want to say one thing. If you like this kind of content, and you want to learn how to generate passive income just like traditional market makers so that you can have more crypto to sell once you get into the bull market and you want to learn through a flagship course from elite coaches in an elite community get access to top tier buy and sell calls everything that we recommend we deeply research go on the know it out channel to see how we research projects if you're interested in that click the link in the description book a free strategy session you'll probably talk to me maybe one of our coaches We'll answer any questions you have on crypto and yield farming, and we'll see if our program is a good fit for you. We do turn people down. We are looking for people with high integrity who have a passion about crypto, not people who are necessarily trying to get rich overnight. We're trying to train everyone so that everyone can be bringing something to the table, bringing value to the group so that we can all make money together. So if that sounds interesting to you, I love to talk to you. We love to talk to you. We love to work with you. If not, we still wish you the best, and you can still watch the free content that we put on the, on the YouTubes on this personal channel and then the know it out channel. But with that, I'd like to conclude this video. If you got value, I ask you to drop a like, subscribe, share with a friend. Other than that, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love every single one of you watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care and trade safe.